All right, traders, a warm afternoon to every one of you. So I'm Devang and right now I'm here to give you a quick market update. It's 11.47 a.m. And my agenda for right now is to discuss what were the trades we gave you yesterday, how have they performed, and what can you expect in the market in the second half of the trading session. So let's get started quickly. The first trade we gave you was ITC. If you all remember, we were bullish above 171. The trade was carried forward from yesterday. And today it's given you a high of 173.5. That's more than 2% profit that we have given you on ITC. If you've taken this trade, guys, give it a thumbs up because we are keeping our streak. We are keeping our consistency, providing value to each and every one of you so that you guys can sleep well and have a good trading session. Another trade that we gave was Tata Motors to go long above 137.5. The trade is still not triggered. We are still awaiting the trigger on the trade because we haven't closed above 137.5. Trade remains pending. Another trade was Voltas. I personally took this trade. We were long above 730, if you all remember that. And today, the high that has been made is 739.5. Another 1.5% profit. That is two out of two consistency. No stop loss. Let's go forward. Another trade that we gave you was Tejas Networks. We wanted you all to go long on Tejas Networks, if you all remember. And today, 4.98% upper circuit in Tejas Network. That is three out of three trades that we have given you. Another trade that we gave was DMART. We wanted you to go long above DMART, above 2300, which was yesterday's high. And today, the high made is 23.25. That's a 25 rupees, 1% profit locked in on DMA. That is four out of four trades. Another trade that we gave was Hindustan Unilever. We clearly, if you remember, I told you all, tomorrow, today is the last chance for HUL to go higher. And we wanted to go short below 2040 and go long above 2080. Remember, 2040 never came. We respected this trend line that we gave in 50 stocks video. And the high made is 2104, more than 24 points hit. That is five out of five trades we have given you no stop loss. Another trade that we gave you was Bajaj Finance. Bajaj Finance, what a lovely trade. We gave you long above yesterday's high of 35.75. We have given you 100 rupees profit. Clocked in. 36.80 is the level right now. That's another 6 out of 6 trades that we have given you. Another trade that we gave you guys was on PD Light Industries, if you all remember. PD Light, we all asked you to go long above 1600. The levels have been clearly mentioned. The high made was 16.14. Another 14 rupees, almost 1% profit clocked in in Pity Light industry. So that is 7 out of 7 trades that we have given you from yesterday's video. A couple of trades are still pending. One of them being TVS Motor. It has hit the trigger, but it is still pending. We will see how it performs. We want it to go long above 472. Currently, it's at 475. So you will have clocked a profit. So the main thing is, guys, we are working very hard, providing value to you. Give it a thumbs up. All you all have to do is just watch our TFA Talks video 20 minutes a day at 9 p.m. so that every day you can make money. This is the consistency and streak we are maintaining. Another one, two trades which are pending and which are in focus are ICICI Bank and uh, uh, Axis Bank. Those are two trades that are also pending. We'll see how they work. We'll talk about, talk about them in the evening session. A couple of other trades are not triggered. The main thing is no stop loss has been hit for the last four days that we have been advising you. Currently, I have given a community message on YouTube. I have said that I am bullish on Maruti. I have taken long exposure in Maruti. This is for a positional basis for the November series. So you all can plan accordingly. I am expecting a very good momentum in Maruti Suzuki, about a four to 500 point move from the current market price in Maruti Suzuki. That is number one uh, uh, measure I wanted to give you. Now, let's talk about what we can expect in the market. Um, so, firstly, what to do in Nifty? If you all remember, what did we tell you yesterday? Yesterday, we told you clearly today is expiry. And expiry, what do you get? A doji candlestick. And you can see this is the analysis research that we all put in. Today, you can see a doji candlestick. And even on Bank Nifty, you can see a doji candlestick. This is expiry trade. So, now, another thing we mentioned yesterday... We gave the levels, but all the levels become redundant. Why? Because you have opened a 150 point gap up. And when you open 150 point gap up, you will only move in a range. So basically, I am not personally interested in the trading in index. If you are trading in index, take your profits and exit because any breakout today will not be sustainable. Even if it happens, I am not interested. I am keeping more of a stock specific approach. Uh, number one. 
Um, what can we expect? One uh, view I have in Bank Nifty is if for some reason you get a rally in the market, I'm particularly not trading, but if you get some, uh, um, some rally in Bank Nifty, try to book your long profits around this 26,300 to 400 zone. It is a very, very strong resistance. I do not expect markets to break it in one single go. So please exit your longs once here. We are in a bullish market. We are not, not in any shorts. We are fully bullish in the market, but we have to also know when to book profits. Same is the case with Nifty. Another very important update I want to give you in Nifty is that if you all remember 31st of August, this was one time we gave a breakout. We opened higher, but eventually we closed in the end in red. I don't want something like this to happen today, considering we are in that election volatility mode. So please remember, we have given a breakout. But for that breakout to be solid, you have to close also above this 12,020 level. If for some reason we are closing in red in below 12,020, this can basically create a false breakout and then we'll again be back in this range. So please remember, opening can be at any price, but closing will always be at the right price. So I will like to wait for the closing. If I'm closing above this, then obviously the targets on the upside of 300 points will be opening up on Nifty. But today's expiry, a lot of short covering and unwinding will be taking place by long, long and short parties both. Be careful, be in the index uh, positions. You will be much more careful in, uh, in that position. A couple of trades that we have given to our mentorship clients. One of them is Credit Access Grameen. Yesterday, we told you to go to short below uh, 615. That never triggered. And today we had given long, so we have earned good profit in credit access. If credit access Grameen goes above the 650 or the trend line level, we can get a very good move even to a 720, 730 level on a positional basis in credit access Grameen. And finally, uh, another trade that we have given for our clients is Page Industries. It was given yesterday to our mentorship clients at 20,500. Currently, we are at 21,000 and uh, 400 levels. That is more than 1000 points clocked in page industries. All our mentorship clients have earned a lot of money here. I'm bullish on page industries and my unrealistic target for page industries would be about 24 to 25,000 in the coming session, in the coming weeks. So by December or by November end, I'm expecting a good 24,000 target in page industries. So these are two, three views that I would like to maintain as we speak. Himalayas straight for TVS motor is propping up. Already 1% profit is clocked in from 472 to 476. And yeah, that's it for now. Uh, and I'll see you in the next market update. Thank you all. I'll see you.